In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your photographic schedule and condition surveys more quickly and with less effort. Hi, my name is James from Pocket Survey. This channel is all about helping you become a more efficient surveyor, so please subscribe to see more videos of our surveying software. Are you wasting time writing up your survey inspection reports? Are you struggling typing data into your spreadsheets? With Pocket Survey, you can avoid tedious work, save time, and save money. Watch this video to the end and you'll find out how. This is the mobile part of the Pocket Survey software running on an Android tablet. We have a full range of survey templates covering commercial, general building surveying, social housing, and risk assessment. This is a short demonstration of the photographic condition survey that's part of our general building survey range of templates. It can be used both for residential and commercial properties. It's a lot more comprehensive than say the RICS home buyer survey. It allows you to do a full building condition type survey. So let's tap into it. Unlike most other apps, Pocket Survey is very easy to use on site with a clean and uncluttered user interface. You hardly have to type anything since most data input is done using menus. The buttons on the right let you navigate through the survey easily. To be most efficient, you use a list pre-prepared in your desktop software. So let's choose a town and an address. Like most menus, the list of surveyors is user-definable in the desktop software. You can also type in and add to the list using the, the space at the bottom of the screen. All the menus are, are configurable. We can just choose one and tap in. Pocket Survey is split into sections for easy navigation. One of those sections is the overview section, where we can define what type of building it is built form, the construction, and the age band. Also, floors in the dwelling and bedrooms in the dwelling. One of the important sections is the general photos. Here, you can take a photograph of, say, the front elevation. Whilst you can snap a photograph directly from here, you can also pick one that you've previously taken. This will be in your photographic gallery. So we just out, go into that and pick the photograph. When a section has been completed, you'll see a green tick next to it. There's a building overview section. This is all user definable using the template editor. So you can add miscellaneous questions such as regulations, damp meter readings. The main part of the survey is the condition survey. Here we've got multiple sections such as structure, where we could log cracks, grounds, exterior, interior and services. Let's just go into the exterior and look at one of the items such as the damp roof course. Here you get a list of descriptions. These are all set up by yourself. However, with our system, you can actually tap on one and it will give you the description which you can then further annotate. We can define the location and the condition. We say it's fair condition. We can then get a list of additional features that you may want to indicate to your client followed by a list of defects. Finally, we can take a photograph and enter some additional comments. In this way, we can go through all the items in the survey. We can also take area photos. When we go into the interior, we could take a photograph of each room. And also log any services such as things like the wiring, the lighting, the boiler, etc. We tap done to complete that part of the survey. We can enter some overall comments. 
we can use the excellent Google voice typing to dictate into the text box. As you can see here, the accuracy is very, very good. Finally, we need to answer all the mandatory questions marked in red. All we need to do now is click done. We return to the visit list and we can do another property or in this case, we're going to quit the survey completely. What we need to do now is transfer this data up to your desktop using the internet. You don't need an internet connection when you're doing the survey on site. You only need it when you're transferring data. Let's return to the list of templates and tap exit to finish. That's a brief demo of the mobile part of the Pocket Survey software. The other part is the desktop database and reporting system, which will create your reports in seconds without any further editing. The features of the full Pocket Survey software are covered in other videos on this channel. Your professional building condition report comes off in seconds, branded with your company logo and company address. There's an automatically generated table of contents. Then on the introduction page and any custom sections that you've decided to add to your survey template. An overview. And if you wanted to, you can even log costs in this particular type of survey. The main part of the report shows the photographs all hyperlinked to a gallery at the end of the document the defects, the location, the description of the item, any comments, priority, and so on. Each section is presented in a similar manner. Any area photos taken and any room photos taken are displayed in separate sections. You can also take numerous general photos and take sketches. At the end of the document is the hyperlink gallery of photographs. Please feel free to ask any questions below or contact me via the Pocket Survey website. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You will find links in the description below to download a trial copy of the mobile software. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to see more videos from this channel. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out more, please join our mailing list and download the trial app or book a demonstration via pocketsurvey.com.